Hello everyone, it is I, Sakamoto, and welcome back to more Undertale Yellow with me, your boy, Sakamoto. Let's get back into the jump, 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 yeah. Let's get back into it. Let's jump into it. What am I saying? No, I'm okay. She's gonna tell me not to use them anyways. Oh, wait. I feel things may only grow more complicated from here. Keep your head high, Clover. Wait a minute. We were already over here. Hang on a second. Uh, must mean that that's where we came from. I got this. Don't worry. I'll figure it out. Okay. Um, okay. We'll, we'll take it. Maybe I should get one little item from the vending machine. The mean old vending machine. Jeez. Okay. Yes, bye. Thanks for nothing. Hey, I paid for an item. I bought something. I didn't give you nothing, you poop head. What a poop head. Are we going this way then? Ah, yes. Televis. Te Televis. Well, this is your favorite channel. Tell you this, don't look amused. There's nothing on yet, because our antennas are crystal again. Okay. Well, that's right. I think Televis is like the antenna and the television. Te Tele starts to sing an anime opening. This begs her to stop. Yeah. <laughs> There's two of them, I guess. Uh, now. You begin to joke off to with the dismay of Tele. Am, am I boring you? Ha! I don't know who's who. This reminds me of my time to a story so she only makes fun of him. You help Tully finagle her antennas to find some programming. Oh, what did they say? <laughs> God damn it. Ah! Tully pushes his mouth flat back and forth for amusement. This isn't having it. I find the social things to love. Oh, check this out. I'll admit, this one is good. Yeah, that's a little bit of a crazy... Yeah, we did it. Tully this hopes you enjoyed... Tully this hope you enjoyed the program. 25 gold. Okay. So, my understory Let's Play came out. Oh crap, I'm gonna have to get back into it after this. Uh, Two pass. Uh, Hold on. Uh, uh, that symbol. I've seen it on Chu Jin's uh, work uniform. Let me try one of his codes. Uh, nope. Uh, uh, oh, well, I only have one left, but I've already used it. Here goes. Yeah. Seriously? Same code as the Dunes Gate? With this kind of security, no wonder Axis is so vigilant. After you. Sorry, I was distracted thinking about what I was trying to say. Um. Well, first off, I'm recording this on a Sunday evening at about 8.48, so... Traffic's not too bad out there, a lot of success. You might have heard that car that just went by. Sorry about that. Oh, hey. Oh, hey. <laughs> Hello. Rusted through. The sign says, if the receptionist is unreceptive, check with the robot control station three floors up. Robot, con robot control station. Clover, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Axis? Exactly. There's some sort if there's some sort of breaker box for all the robots in the area, we can shut Axis down and get to Hot We can shut Axis down and get to Hotland as planned. It's worth an investigation at least. Let's go. Uh, wake up, Sakamoto. You got this. You got this. Sakamoto got this. Okay. 
How do I... How do I shot web? Okay. What the... Oh god, this part. Okay. Tomorrow means the surface. Well, what was I trying to say? Oh yeah. This is coming out, um... Or I'm recording an empty elevator shot flies before you. Well then, convenience was never in today's dictionary anyway. Gotta be a staircase... Staircase. Staircase close by. Blah. Anyways, this is coming out the day after my understory. This isn't coming out. I'm recording this the day after my understory Let's Play came out. Really? Another door? Let's look around. Has to be a switch or a panel around here somewhere. And uh, it's kind of blowing up, which is cool, but that's not really one of my better videos. But I'm really happy people are watching it. Um, so thanks for all the views on that. If you're watching this after that appreciate it. Anyways, various cardboard cuboids lie bunched up in the corner. They're all empty. Let me drink some soda. Maybe that'll wake me up a little bit. In the meantime, we'll go and examine this thing. Mm. It about looks as if it's wanting to convey something. What do I do? There we go. That's, oh, I, that's what I just tried to do. It didn't work. Good morning, Steamworks employees. Hope you're ready for another day of productivity. Today we are buying and shipping goods out into the underground. Uh, hello? Are you sentient or a pre-recording? Hello, new hire. Yes, I am fully sentient. Trapped in this two-dimensional rectangle for all eternity. Right. Can you unlock all the doors in this factory? We're in a hurry. Sorry, but each morning we do a little thing called Earn Your Freedom! <laughs> Complete a full shipment and you'll be on your way. What kind of policy is that? When there's a quota to meet, ethics go out the window. Haven't you worked a job before? Of course, but I don't work here. So, you're trespassing? In that case, fine, we'll do the job. Clover, this bot might have connections to Axis. Seems we gotta do what it says to avoid unwanted attention. You can work this thing, right? Push the start button and then we'll get up and we'll get it over with. What are you doing? Put red items in red boxes and blue blue boxes. Three strikes and you're out. Your machine's broken. The second conveyor belt doesn't move. No. Yes? It's broke. No. Screw this. Screw this. Clover, you box the goods and I'll toss them into a chute. Teamwork, right? Something like that. Let's give it a shot. Okay. So with these, you gotta be real careful about not pressing on the ones that aren't, don't have an outline around them. And the pink ones, you do the pink and the green outline for some reason, you do the blue. And I failed this like a hundred times last time I did this, and I bet you I'll get this on my first try this time. Yay, we did it. <laughs> not a hundred times, but like... 10 to 15 times or something. <laughs> but that time I did it the first time, so yay. Hey, alright, good work, Clover. On to what awaits us, on to what awaits us next. Yeah. Totally. Totes my goats. It's, guess what it is. More work. <laughs> what the? Fun! Hello again. The shipment is almost complete. One final step and you may have the passcode to exit. All you have to do is sort each colored package by tilting the platform that platform left to right. Pretty obvious. Look who paid attention learning colors in preschool. Not by choice. <laughs> I'll take the drop shoot up, up top, you man the platform. Good, good. All right, let's do this. Ready? Here goes nothing. Now oh, this one was trickier. Let's see if I can do this one. 
pink. Blue. Blue. Pink. Pink. Blue. Pink. 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 Hey, we did it. Sweet. I didn't mess up. Phew. Coming back down. Great job, everyone. You can't spell Steamworks without teamwork. Can't spell it without steak either, but that's absolutely that has absolutely no bearing on the situation. Let's see how you did. Calculating. Oh, you barely scraped by, but that's what performance report performance reports are for. <laughs> performance reports are for. Hey, it isn't our fault this system is so impractical. Why does it take two giant steps to ship a few packages? Why can't we sort them? Why can't we sort the colors when boxing them in the first room? Beats me! You know, for being, such, for being built by such great minds, the Steamworks are awfully convoluted. It takes a massive IQ to understand the complexities of the Steamworks. Your brain probably isn't advanced enough, says the wall-mounted GIF, or GIF, however you want to say it. Excuse me, Mr. Giant Ass Vehicle. <laughs> says the wall-mounted GIF comprised of three pixels. You know what? You can take your little little. Uh... Uh, uh, Just give us the code. Of course, the passcode is five four four five four seven four five four seven four five four seven. Got it? Four five four seven. Yeah, thanks. Four five four seven. No, thank you, employees. Thank you for making the underground a little brighter. Okay, I tried to make the uh, robot sound. Fake enthusiastic. I don't know if I did a very good job at it. And then Sarah was just sick and tired of like all the BS we've been dealing with at this point. So that's what I made her try to be a little bit annoyed too. You find a stick of beef jerky in the trash can. Take it. Not enough space. Yay. <laughs> Uh, that's it. Uh, what do I do? Okay. Perfect. Followed by the pound sign. Got it. Metalworks emergency escape plan or meet. In, s in case someone sets the room on fire, do not use the elevator. Evacuate down to floor 01 or f use a password to access floor 3. Uh huh. They really locked this place up tight. Well, if the code was found nearby on the first floor, let's take a look around. Oh man. There you are. No way. You seriously, want to do this again? Yes. Remember that explosion? Remember the explosion that incapaci incapacitated you? Yes. I retrieved brand new hands. I am unstoppable now. Look, at some point you need to- Shush. I do not resist arrest any longer- Do not resist arrest any longer. Stand still and let my handsome hand shine. <laughs> Shoot. Psst, Clover, this way. My vision, initiating 16 volt super flashlight. 95% of power utilized, typography box entered. What do you mean? Oh, this is the most un This is bad. Oh well. Unlike them, I have eyes. Okay. Okay. We need to stay out of his view and keep quiet. He's got a hello again. Whatever are you to do. I twitch. As I was saying, there's gotta be a code around here. Once you find it, head for the exit. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, we already read that. Let's see. Ah! What? Is it just four, 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 four? Is 
A4, B4, C4, D4, okay. You figured out a code? Hurry and give it a try. Okay, we'll take it. Okay, let's head upstairs before Axis. Hello. Axis! Just the bot I was looking for! How are you doing these days? Not so good. I could only speak in 15 characters max back there. It kind of bugged me out. I'm sorry to hear that. Glad you got your full speech ability back. Thank you. I do like talking. Wait. Wait? Are you trying to distract me from my mission? No. Oh, okay. Can I ask you a question involving the security of the Steamworks? Yes, I am a security expert. Why is it that some doors require a passcode to unlock, and others require a Steamworks ID? Two-factor authentication. Huh. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. Run away! <laughs> Run away! Cool. <laughs> Workstations. Okay, well, probably another code to find. You know the drill. You are awestruck by the p absolute pipe pandemonium. Pandemonium. <laughs> pandemonium on display. How do they do it? Why can't I talk today? An old PC sitting on two desktops. The image on the screen gives you a nostalgic feeling. A sheet of neatly typed bullet points lies crumpled in the trash. You stash in your mailbag. The, high, the helper bot guidelines. One, every, man, and every manufactured bot must have a practical function installed, a purpose for being, cooking, cleaning, agriculture, etc. Two, excuse me, I hiccup burped or whatever. <laughs> Bots have... Bots should have tiers of emotion to better integrate into society. Coding a personality into each one is recommended. It makes them more personable slash easy to be around. 3. All bots are to have a strong connection with living things. Their creators, average monsters, other bots, etc. If deprived of this, some may become easily agitated and restless. Others may be unfazed. Depends on the model. 4. If a bot acts out of line or malfunctions... They are to be shut down. Typically, a hard reset will do the trick. Termination is the last resort. If a shutdown is impossible, they can be coaxed back to their normal state. 5. Absolutely no bots are allowed outside the Steamworks at this time. Until King Ascor is ready to begin mass production, this project is classified. Most 6. Most all have fun. Smiley face. Okay. The note on the powered off PC reads, The future is bright. Hang in there. Okay. Many sticky notes are posted around the smashed in PC. We replaced your computer six times now. Please control your temperate. It's just solitaire. Downsizing imminent, but definitely not for the employee who's reading this. You're doing a great job. Must be the manager's office. Surely they had access to all passcodes. Let's check those file cabinets. Hold on, look here. Performance reports for all factory employees. A, B. <clears throat> 1, 16, 20XX. Mr. Chujin pitched his blueprints for a guard bot of sorts. He called the project Axis. <clears throat> 3, 19, 20XX. Axis Model 01 was presented to King Ascor but was swiftly rejected. The poor thing couldn't stay powered up for more than 6 seconds. <clears throat> 5, 10, 20 XX, Axis Model 4 backfired and shot one of its gloves at the king. This is getting embarrassing. 7, 23, 20 XX, Axis Model 0, 07 refused to enter the throne room. Ascor gave Chujing one more shot after incessant pleading. I know he's a smart engineer, but if the next showcase goes south... <coughs> 92320XX. Well, this is it. Model 8 booted up and seemed to be stable for a moment. That was until a malfunction occurred and sparks began to emit from the body. In the chaos, one spark leaped onto King Oscar's flower bed. A fire ignited but was swiftly put out. 
please leave. Leave and do not return. I, I apologize deeply, but as we are, us monsters simply aren't ready to bypass the barrier. You know this deep down. I know you do. Axis is the solution you need. The solution I need is a reliable one. One that won't set fire to our homes. If this is about my... It isn't. I thank you for your service to society. But I'm afraid Monster Kind's freedom belongs in more capable hands. Capable hands, he says. Look at Axis now. The true realization of Chujin's vision. He far exceeds any model Asgore ever saw. And you know who's capable hands now? And you know who's those? It. You know who those capable hands belong to now? The scientist who has Kaneko, Doctor Alphys. A while back, she built a robot too. One so lifelike it got her to the position she has now. It must have been real impressive. So impressive that Asgore kicked the other visionaries to the curb. I understand now. Why Chuji never shared this with me. He must have been absolutely gutted hearing those words. Screw the royals. The politics, all the red tape. This, Clover, this is why the mission is so important. You can't trust these closed minded gatekeepers to do anything right. Not for a second. Let's go. Today's elevator capacity code 8154. Richter B. Oni. Engineering certificate XX20XX. Dusty filing cabinets filled with the employee records. A dilapidated desk with several ripped up notes strewn about. Among the notes sits a piece of paper with one thing written on it. How do I tell them? What was that again? 8154. Alrighty then. <clears throat> oh boy, it's our friend. Hello! I welcome you to, into my body! Wherever would you like to go? Top floor. Did you say basement? Get us to the roof. Out of here. Whatever. I carry a negative opinion of you. Heading to out of here. I'll oh, give a... <laughs> uh, sorry for all the outbursts. All this is... It's a lot to process. But you're pretty tired of learning about me, so... What about you? You're not exactly a talker, so I don't know much. Why are you here in the first place? Did you simply trip and fall into the underground? I'm curious. I see, the five humans. I wanted to find out what happened to those kids. A noble mission. Takes guts. I'm assuming you haven't found them yet, though. We have arrived at out of here. <laughs> Sorry. Well, uh, better get moving. <sighs> Watch it, Clover. You don't want to learn any outside, especially workers under the blah blah blah. Escort, you may have to wait, blah blah blah. Okay. No! I don't want to fight you. I wanted to fight you, I would be fighting you. But instead, I want to run away. But I have to fight you because you're making me fight you. Oh, jeez. I'm changing the channel rapidly into patterns I've seen before from other monsters. That's clever. You need to touch me while you're at it. I disagree. Oh no, we had test tapes. What am I gonna do? They're attacking me. No, I can't. Oh, 
Okay. Oh, I'm guessing this is our ticket out of here. Just have to, uh, why don't you take a stab, why don't you take a stab at it? Technology and I don't exactly mix well. A daunting array of screens and buttons lie before you. You press one of the buttons. Robotics control status functioning at 78%. Awaiting input. Main directory. You don't even need to go to settings. And emergency shutdown. Shut down all help robots. Yes. Attending shutdown. Error. Cannot complete task. Just kidding. Winky smiley face. Emergency complete. Emergency shutdown complete. Great. We did. I hope that worked. It's unfortunate access had to end up this way. Maybe I should... No. I wish Chujin's project could thrive, but a line had to be drawn. Can't dwell on the past any longer. Let's go. <coughs> yeah, all that other stuff is just a bunch of pointless stuff to read. Oh, I think we're about to uh, be doing some stuff in a second here. Alright guys, you ready for this? Ba da ba da ba da ba da ba bum hey ba da ba da ba bum hey ba ba da hey <laughs> who did that? Clover, you can hear me, right? I'm gonna try to blast a hole in this thing. I'm gonna try to blast a hole in this thing. There, you happy now? <laughs> it's gonna take a lot to break through, and to and to think we were almost free of this place. Um, just look around for a switch or keypad. There's always one near doors. Yeah, I guess I'm pretty happy with that. <laughs> yes, I was talking to myself. Ah! Main power source not found. Initiating emergency backup power. What was that? Did I just hear Axis? <coughs> huh, huh, hum human. Y you tried to shut me down. I have had it with you and your friend thwarting my plans. I am this close to directing all my steam into the, into my rude finger, and yes, I am yelling. My topography box just lacks the exclamation point character. A shame, but at least I have question marks. Hey, Clover! I don't think you can outrun this guy any longer. Please try to find a peaceful way to outwit him. I'm sorry, but I don't want to and creation to match the this. Outwit, maybe. Oh good, never. I am ticked off and out of long lethal options. So prepare yourself, I am attacking now. What? My programming is preventing me from attack. It says you are not a current threat or resisting arrest. Ugh. Forget this. Here, I will make you a threat. Hold this. It suits you. There. Now you have drawn a weapon. Loopholes are wonderful. Are they not? Now. Time to die. Oh boy. Okay, so acting doesn't really do anything. We just kind of have to stick this one out. What are you doing with that lid? It was not supposed to be useful. That is cheating. Goes into one of his lenses to clean some dust. You don't know how. Feel the furnace's heat wave engulf you. You ready your trusty shield for whatever awaits. I wonder if I should have the solar scarf on this time. Just for this boss. Eh, whatever. What was that? What did I say? It's not a word. Why did I say that? Smells like an unfortunate barbecue. <laughs> unfortunate barbecue. Ha! Hilarious. How do you like me now, Axis? Yeah! Death by Metal and Magic. Nice. 
You tell Axis he's not great at his job. If he could frown, he would. I did it again. How? Wait, this is your doing. Of course it is. Do not shock me again, okay? Cool. You pull on your shirt repeatedly in hopes to beat the heat. Your effort fails. Alright, death by melon magic. I remember this. Why am I losing 2 HP at a time? At least we can heal. God dang it. I love this song for this battle, it's so good. Damn it. Tickle bar. Uh, uh, I, I, I'm starting to regret giving you that lid. Could you please drop it? Just kick it into the fiery pit below us, simple. Then I won't be a threat anymore. How are you supposed to fight? How are you supposed to fight me? And then the whole point of this was that was the guy you gave me the lid. You guys get what I said, right? <laughs> totally made perfect sense. Um. All right. Aha! He! Oh ho! Oh ho! He! Haha! Ready to eat it. Axis thinks this music is a bit intense for his tastes. <laughs> that is enough. Unbeknownst to you, I brought a backup plan. Portable generators equal infinite battery. Good luck. Clover, I'm almost through. Whatever you're doing, it seems to be working. Keep at it until he's out of juice. Um, I can hear you. You two think you are so smart. Uh, I do not run on juice. In fact, I do not run at all. I roll, obviously. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. Okay. I see what's happening here. Damn it! Well, that's just flipping through the Royal Guard guidebook. Okay. Give me that tickle meter. That's right. Here, I think it's. Crap. Okay. This part's a little tricky. Ha! Seriously, I am reaching unheard levels of tech. Level 7, at least, your fault. Okay. Damn it. Aha! Screw you, screw you, screw you, screw you, screw you. <laughs> uh. 
<laughs> it's so hard to deliver that without breaking in the middle of it. Oh crap. We got more patterns. I did not realize this was gonna happen. Okay. Maybe we'll eat the trail mix. Get down the bag of trail mix. All you taste is right, whatever. Taste you like that. That's right. More patterns. Come on. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Get the flip out of here. Yeah, you would not like me at low battery. I'm warning you to, to not drain my battery. I thought that was it. And there we go. Good job holding on while I was occupied. Actually, seems pretty dazed. One more shot to do him in. Let's end this. End up one of his gloves and reach it into the air. Okay. Corn dog. You can't help but feel bad for doing it. You're just like that. Okay. Thanks, Deputy Badge. I didn't know you were planning like when you were far into a battle, or maybe that was something else entirely. I have no idea, but either way! Haha! Oh ho! Hee hee ho 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 how about this time? Maybe I should try not doing that. <laughs> I'll just do nothing as well. Come on, man, you're almost so little bit wiggle blah blah. We're almost done, we're almost done, we're almost done! One more time! We're gonna do it this time! Nope. How about this time? Yes! Beep, beep. Shutting off strenuous emotions to save power. Ah, uh, what did you do to me? I don't feel an utter murderous rage anymore. I do not know what to do with myself. Suppose I will stare at you blankly until you do something. Axis is staring at you blankly until you do something. Plan B. You ask Sarah to present your, your metallic creation. Of course. Hey, Axis. What? How do you feel about second dates? Like a calendar. <laughs> I. What is this? This feeling. Uh oh. <laughs> Soulmate located. Perfection personified. Where has this beauty been all my life? Holy. The shimmer. The complexion. The curves. Okay, that's enough. Clover, let's uh wrap. Let's wrap this up. <laughs> This emotion, it feels so nice. I must thank you for opening my eyes. I had no idea such wondrous sights existed. Glad we could finally reach a level of civility. Can I keep them? Whoa, slow down. Here. Do you want to know a secret? Yes, I would love to know a secret. They told me that they like you, but we'll only go out if it's casual. Get to know them a little first, you know? That's what their name is or something. Okay. Alright, good. Give it a shot. Hello, my name is Axis. What is your name? Haha, <laughs> you are so funny. You wanna get married? Hey, remember what we talked about? They said yes. What? I am honestly just as surprised as you. This rocks. Okay, then I'm happy for you. Well, not to wait on the parade, but Chloe and I have to go. Go where? Hotland. Just a business trip. Well, I wish you a pleasant journey then. Backup battery extremely low. Please recharge. Oh, 
Oh, oh, oh, oh, go back, go back, go back. Oh, suppose I should go do that. Recharging will restore me back to my factory state, but added hated human, had it human, and tall eighty to authorized list. There. Oh, not attempt apprehension. 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 Next time you meet. Thank you, Axis. You have a good life. I will try. Oh, one more thing. Hmm? You said your husband was my creator. Would you tell him that I miss him? He was always very kind to me. I... Yeah, I'll, I'll tell him. Thank you. Goodbye. Okay, I can move now. What do you have to say about all that, Saraba? Okay, cool. Good to know. I gotta say, that was pretty entertaining. Glad we could... Glad we could bypass Axis without destroying him. Turns out, <clears throat> turns out you're a pretty damn good leader, Clover. I don't know why I doubted. Right. Right. I see our exit up ahead. We're close. Yeehaw! All right. Let's not venture off the path. I've had enough steamworks for today. All right, guys, that's going to be it for this episode. Sorry, it's a little short of uh, Undertale Yellow. Love you guys. Have a great to <laughs> See you later today at 3 o'clock for the no commentary of this or um, tomorrow for the next new episode at 10 a.m. Eastern. Eastern, Eastern, Eastern American Standard Time. Eastern Standard Time. Okay. New York time. Whatever. <laughs> Love you guys. Have a great...